This is a Disneyland original little long playing record, and I am your story reader. I am going to begin now to read the story of Johnny Appleseed. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when Tinkerbell rings her little bells like this. Let's begin now. Johnny Appleseed was a pioneer. One of the very best. He didn't look much like one. He was small and not very strong. He wore a tin pot for a hat and a coffee sack for a coat. Under his arm, he carried a Bible, and over his shoulder, a bag of apple seeds. Way back in the year 1806, Johnny was picking apples on a farm near Pittsburgh town, and thinking how good the Lord had been to him. He liked to read his Bible. He never failed when his work was through to sit and read a verse or two. One day, a wagon train came down the dusty road near the farm. It was loaded with pioneers heading west out to the great unknown. How Johnny wished he could go with them and be a pioneer too! Just when he was feeling sorriest for himself, a miracle happened. A great white bursting light came swooping from the sky, and landed right beside Johnny. A voice said, "What's holding you, Johnny?" Go to the frontier if that's your choice. It was Johnny's private guardian angel come to advise him. All I know about is apples, Johnny told the angel. What's wrong with apples? The angel said. Go west, plant apple seeds along with the seeds of love and charity. The angel gave Johnny a tin cooking pot, and sent him on his way. Johnny started walking all alone, all over the great chunk of forest land that now is Ohio and Indiana. Have you any idea how much courage that took? There were bears, wolves, wildcats, and hostile Indians. He had no knife, he had no gun, but he walked through sunshine, walked through rain, over the mountains and over the plains, through forest trails knee deep in mire, till he found a spot of open ground with fertile soil, and warmth and green, a place to plant the apple seeds. While he was working, he thanked the Lord for giving him the sun, the rain, and the apple seed. He didn't realize that the forest animals were watching. Who's that ornery human there? Muttered an owl. The other animals were worried too. How come he's left his gun behind? Asked a deer. A skunk came into the clearing. Just then, Johnny turned around. My goodness, he said, and began patting the skunk. Believe me, that took a lot of spunk. But from that time on, the skunk and all the forest creatures were Johnny's friends. Johnny's travels weren't all easy. He came upon a burning settler's cabin. The Indians aimed their arrows at him. Johnny was not afraid. Put away your wrath, O、oh、my brothers! Be kind and merciful, he said. The Indians thought Johnny a very brave man. They did not harm him. They sat down and listened to him. Johnny made a friend with. Every seed he sowed, the settlers were glad to see him coming and grateful for his apple trees. After all, it meant apple tarts, 
apple pasty, apple cider, and apple fritters for everyone. Everywhere he went, Johnny left the shadow of his deeds behind. The shadow grew until it stretched across the whole frontier. And in that shadow, everywhere were love and faith and the apple tree. After 40 years of travel, Johnny was sleeping, taking his ease, still with his tin pot hat and his Bible in his lap. Johnny's angel came and told him he had one last trip to make. It seemed heaven was short of apple trees. So, of course, Johnny went where he was needed. But people will always remember the man who wanted apple trees for everyone in the world to share, just because he felt the Lord had been good to him. The Lord is good to me, and so I thank the Lord for giving me the things I need, the sun and rain and an apple seed. Yes, he's been good to me. I owe the Lord so much for everything I see. I'm certain if it weren't for him, there'd be no apples on this limb. Yes, he's been good to me. Oh, here am I, neat the blue, blue sky, and do win as I please. Singing with my feathered friends, humming with a bees. I wake up every day as happy as can be. Because I know that with his care, my apple trees, they will still be there. Oh, the Lord is good to me. Pretend he was a pioneer too. Started singing right along with We made a home before, we're starting out again. We ain't a feared a man or beast, we're strong hearted men. So get in the wagon rolling west, out to the great unknown. Get in the wagon rolling west, or you'll be left alone. Or you'll be left alone. Or you'll be left alone. You'll be left alone. Alone. There's apple pickles, oh so tasty Apple tarts and apple pasty Apple dumplings, not to mention Apple sass Apple fritters, light as thistle And for folks to wet their whistle Tangy apple cider in a glass Stew em, fry em, boil em, bake em Apple pie and apple cake em you can cook an apple anyway. There's apple this and apple that. The recipe that fill your hat. Why, I could carry on like this all day. So pack your stuff and get a going. Get them apple trees a growing. There's a lot of work out there to do. Oh, there's a lot of work to do. Dead come it, boy. I'm ashamed of you. You got the stuff to see you through. Why, you got all the seeds you're needing. And for pretty darn good reading, there ain't nothing finer than your book. Here's a mighty handy bonnet. Why, it's a tin pot with a handle on it. Yep, turn it upside down and you can cook. So come on, son, and get a going. Get them apple trees a growing. There's a lot of work out there to do. 